There is a new force to be reckoned with in the Spruce Rosewood Dreadnought game. Um, Taylor has long danced around having a core model, just standard Spruce Rosewood Dreadnought back in the lineup, and we finally have it with the 417ER. Stick around. How's it going, y'all? This is Cooper Greenberg here at Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't, like the videos, turn your notifications on, comment on the videos. We want to know that you're there and that you're watching. Um, like I said, Taylor has had a long road to where we are now. Um, they, several years back, discontinued the square shoulder dreadnoughts that everybody loved, like the 710, the 810, 410, 310, 510, 910, all that stuff is gone. Uh, the only square shoulder dreadnoughts you're gonna find are out of the Mexico factory with the 110, the 150, um, the Academy 10, you know, that dreadnought does not make an appearance anymore in the American factory. So it has been replaced by the Grand Pacific body style, the shorts, uh, the sorry, slope-shouldered dreadnought, um, and we see that in the 317, um, you know, the 8017, 8027, um, and we've gotten it in builder's editions, 517, 717, but we have not had just a straight-up spruce, rosewood, all-gloss, um, you know, dreadnought. Enter the 417ER. Um, Taylor has recently, today, um, you know, not as I'm filming this, but as the release date, um, has reintroduced their 400 series. We've seen them do this a lot. You know, they redid the 500 series. A while back, they redid 600. They did all co on the 700 series. So 400 is the next to get the treatment, and they're really not changing it up very much. There's still a 414 CER. There is still a 412 CER. They just have tobacco sunbursts on them now. And I'm pretty sure that you can order them natural still. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that it can happen. So that being said, the new edition is the 417ER, the first Grand Pacific in the series. And it is, I mean, a straight up copy of the Taylor J45 that I wanted to do for our exclusive. So whatever, Taylor. But they finally did it. We got something kind of close to it with our uh, NAM custom that we picked out last year. But this is a permanent part of the lineup. It is a Sitka spruce top with uh, tobacco sunburst, and it's got East Indian rosewood back in sides. Very just straight up spruce rosewood dreadnought style on the guitar. Crisp white binding. It has a new uh, inlay pattern. Obviously, ebony and ebony bridge and fingerboard. The new inlay is called the Fenial inlay. Um, and it looks kind of retro-futurist to me. Um, gets a little bit of kind of a space-age vibe. I think it's cool. I don't think it's too over the top. And a lot of people would just kind of see that and pass over, think it's the older 400 series inlay or, you know, something that they have done before. But that is a new inlay pattern. I think it looks sharp. And obviously, it's mirrored on the peg head inlay. But um, it's just, it's a really nice playing guitar. It's got an ES2 in it. It's got V-Class bracing. It's got everything, like I think the only Rosewood, let me step back. The only Rosewood GP that we've gotten or Grand Pacific has been the 717 Builders Edition. And that's silent satin finish. It's a completely different vibe of a guitar. It's got a torrified spruce top. And um, this is, I think, their competition towards the classics, the J45, which would be like a J45 Deluxe with the rosewood because J45s are, you know, mahogany. But, um, you know, D28, that kind of thing, this is what they're going after. And so if you're the Taylor player, you really love the Taylor neck, you want the ease and the comfort and the playability, but this is, you want your big body, spruce, rosewood, this is going to be the one for you. Um, going to play a little bit on it. It does come with the beautiful... Western floral um, hard shell case, which is, I think, the coolest acoustic guitar case on the market. So it does come with that. Um, and otherwise, it's just straightforward acoustic guitar, 
they got to have one in the lineup, and I think they did a very good job with this, having their big old classic dreadnought. So let's take a listen, 417ER. All right, so first off, do you think, I would like you, let us know in the comments or call us, let us know uh, however you would like, do you think this stands up to those classic dreadnoughts that I was mentioning? The J45, be it one with Rosewood, um, the D28, because that's what I think Taylor's final frontier is going to be. When they can turn some of those customers that are so set on getting one of those legacy dreadnoughts and put them on one of these, I'm sure that it's happened plenty of times before with um, you know, various models that they've put out, but I think this is the one that's most blatantly, like this is the classic right here, Spruce Rosewood Dreadnought um, after the discontinuation of that square shoulder that everybody loves so much that I would love to see make a return. But I do love the slope shoulder. I love the whole Grand Pacific vibe and the idea behind these guitars. Um, and I think that they can coexist. I think they can have a round shoulder dreadnought and a square shoulder dreadnought um, because I think there's kind of two different people that are looking for both of those. But I think they've done a really good job. I would like to hear what y'all think about the sound of the guitar. It's just so straightforward. There's nothing fancy about it, which I think everybody that's watched the channel for at least a little while knows that I really appreciate the basics the unadorned, uh, just kind of straight up acoustic guitar classic vibe. That's what's uh, the right one for me. And I think there's a lot of people that agree with me out there. However, you can always customize this guitar. You can change up the inlay, go to the custom shop. You can get a natural finish. There's a lot that you can do with Taylor to kind of make sure you're finding the right one for yourself. So um, I like it. I'm excited to see uh, the other, the new 414 CER and the 412 CER, I do not anticipate them being much different from the ones that I have played quite a bit on. Um, but, you know, you never go wrong with Tobacco Sunburst top on a very classic looking acoustic guitar. So please let me know what you think. Um, if you want to learn more about this or any of the new introductions that Taylor has made across the 500 series, 700 series, 400 series, whatever you like, it's going to be on alamomusic.com. We try our best to keep pretty much everything that's a standard model in stock as well as some kind of cool special pieces. So um, let us know. Go to alamomusic.com to learn all the specs on this guitar, to place an order, to ask any questions that you have. We would love to help you find the right guitar for you, and we will see you next time.